hey what's up guys uh today in this video we are going to see how to do animations in angular 2 angular 2 by default uh, provides some options for animating your elements on the uh, page that is the screen so uh, let's see how that's done and uh, first of all let's just use our uh, play tool to scaffold out uh, angular 2 application so i'll just give ng new um, angular 2 animations okay this is done so now let's go ahead and open this up in our uh, vs code editor We have, we have got our app open here right so before starting to write any code uh, what we are going to do now is animations animations are nothing but you know making the elements of a page uh, morph into something else or just like you know move from one uh, part of the uh, screen to another part something like that uh, or something like that which the user feels pleasant to see that is uh, at the end of the day the user should be satisfied right so what we are going to see here is i'll just show you some very very basic stuff in animations so first i'm going here opening up my uh, ds and then i'll remove this uh, there are few stuff we need to import we'll do that As of now, we'll see what these do. And uh, one more thing, animate. This is the actual thing, right? So we'll see what these do. So animation is like, uh, you know, it's just uh, another property to inside this component directive, guys. So we'll just specify it here. Uh, so, sorry, animations, and this will be an array. And inside this, what it will have is basically, uh, what we'll be doing, wait, I'll just, you know, uh, I'll show you what we'll be animating rather. So I have a head shown here and this will be like uh, Raja okay and I uh, will close this okay this is our element now in our page now if you just go here sorry what happened oh this so uh, okay we have an element right nothing fancy in this now what what uh, animation basically means making this element do something right if i click it should do something or it should do something without clicking or something like that right it should move to one place or it should disappear or it should appear or it should like you know uh, perform some other you know crazy stuff like that so what i'll do is i'll i'm going to animate this now using angular 2 so how i'll do that i'll specify something here so first of all i'm i must specify what should trigger that animation right if I am to animate this one, then this should obviously have something, uh, something like a trigger, right? So I'll just specify that here first. So I'll just give trigger, and inside this trigger, I am specifying the name of the trigger. So I'll just give visibility trigger or something like that. Uh, visibility trigger, or uh, what else can we give? A movement trigger. Movement trigger. Okay, I'll make that element move. Uh, and this will once again be an array so inside this uh, trigger what we'll be writing is states states are nothing but how the element would look before animation and how the element would look after animation that's what we'll be specifying in states so i'll just give state for first uh, first position and then uh, this will again you know i'll specify style for this style uh, what shall we do like uh, transform transform and uh, for moving in the x-axis i'll just specify translate x oh, first it will be at zero okay no, no, nothing fancy it will just be there on the screen so and then uh, i'll write another state another state will be like uh, a second position right second position obviously we'll move we want to move the element from first position to the second position so this will have a style of uh, transform transform like translate uh, x of about 10 percentage okay from the original position okay that this is these are the two states uh, of our element 
now what i'm going to specify is the transition the actual transition what should happen between the uh, when the element uh, transitions so what should happen when it transitions from the first position to the second position this will uh, be an array and inside this will be the actual animate thing uh, i'll just specify an animation like uh, uh, how long uh, 200 milliseconds maybe and then i'll just specify is in okay uh, this is done and we'll write one more transition maybe i'll just specify give a comma here write one more transition and this transition will be for second position to first position once again vice versa first position and uh, this will once again be an array and animate uh, what was that what was that we gave there 200 right? 200 milliseconds sorry 200 milliseconds and then uh, it will be ease out right? ease out uh, this is done okay uh, now we have two transition states i mean the from the first state to second state we have a transition and what should be happening for the second state uh, when it transitions from the second state to first state we have uh, code for all of that now we'll make use of this trigger movement trigger right we'll just go here and then specify uh, it using a at symbol movement uh, movement trigger movement trigger equal to this should be triggered upon some uh, basic action right so what shall i have here i'll just have state okay state and then i'll attach a click attribute to this and this will be what it will be doing us uh, or rather this is enough for this uh, here we'll have another button button uh, this button will have a click attribute and this will be having toggle states okay uh, it's just a toggle button for making the element move that's all uh, and then click me slash button okay uh, we have written the code for this then we'll come back here we need to have a state and then this will be a string this will be what shall I, what will be uh, first position right first position and then uh, we need a toggle right toggle sorry toggle states method and this will be once again the start state uh, equal to we'll just check and then toggle between uh, yeah that will be better the start state uh, whether the start state is equal to uh, first position then it will be second position if not first position okay a very very simple code guys what we have written is we have written two states for the animation and then uh, we have written how it should transition between those two states and then for this entire animation code we have a trigger and then we have a toggle state method that just toggles between two strings that's all first pose uh, first position first pos and the second pos string and then in the html code we are invoking that trigger here based on the state we are changing the state using this uh, toggle states that's all no, nothing complicated in this let's see uh, no error let's see what happens i'm just clicking you can see right it's pretty much simple guys it's moving 10 10 percent to this side and then if i click on this it's coming back to its original position that's all nothing fancy in this case so this is how you do a basic animation in anglo i have just shown you a very 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 basic stuff so this is how you do it guys animations are pretty much easy if you want to translate i mean move it along the y axis just give translate y and then here specify sorry you can uh, observe the difference right 10 percent of okay 10 percent you won't observe i'll just give uh, 25 percent See, you can see the difference, right? Twenty-five percent of y-axis. Let's close this. So this is how you could perform basic animations in Angular 2, guys. So uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Maybe I'll just you know show you one more example, uh, something fancy maybe. So we'll just write one more trigger. We'll uh, make uh, uh, a message box to appear and then disappear based on a button click or something. So uh show message okay this trigger is show message and then this will once again be an array 
have two states obviously one will be uh, the show state show state what it will sh- what it should do is uh, uh, this should have a opacity of one right we'll control it style okay style and this will be opacity opacity should be one and then uh, we'll use height height should be uh, like the height of the element whatever element is i mean whatever text is inside the message right so to do that we can just give asterisk and it'll automatically you know uh, adjust the height of the element based on the text inside it so okay uh, this is one style and then oh why don't we just copy paste this copy this and paste it and instead of show give hide here and then uh, instead of opacity it should be zero right since we are hiding the message and then instead of uh, we are we sh- in, if we want to hide the message just make it zero px so that if there is no height obviously you know it will it will give you a cool effect guys trust me you you might wonder right uh, if you just give opacity zero then obviously the message would be hidden so why are you specifying all this height and everything uh, you just wait and watch it will be the effect would be rather cool guys so uh, okay this is done uh, now we need to give the transition right transition i'll just show you one more way to write a shortcut the shortcut method is you can specify both the transitions in the single one like uh, show use a double ended arrow and then hide this means that both the transitions have the same animation effect so here uh, what i'll just specify animate i don't know like 1000 uh, okay uh, yeah that's it guys we have another trigger now so we'll ignore the first one and then make use of this one so to do that we'll just give uh, show here and then here it will be like uh, if it's show then it's hide right hide if it's not then it's just show save this go back here and then uh, toggle states and everything is rather right okay uh, so rather than this we'll remove this and write uh, do here do class equal to container not container maybe raja box okay and then inside this i'll just give the content thanks for watching guys and then i'll close this too and then we'll somewhat make this do you know presentable by giving a few styles raja box raja box and then i'll give what else uh, border i'll give border obviously pixels and then it will be like solid and then what else uh, with i'll give it so not videos with it would be like uh, 300 pixels maybe and then i'll give a text align text align would be center and then font size uh, what shall we give like uh, 45 pixels maybe and then what else uh, and then like uh, line height line height would be like around uh, 75 pixels maybe and then box sizing will do because i need a box like thing right border box and then overflow i'll just hide it and then uh, you can specify text color and other you know like uh, do whatever styling you want guys i'm just so this is for a demo right i'm just specifying whatever comes to my mind that's all okay uh, so I, i have applied some stylings for this uh, and i am using this here right let's see what happens we'll refresh this okay now the thing is i specified the width like this right i shouldn't have done that as for this one and for this one okay uh, now we get a wonderful box and thanks for watching this if i click on this
okay what's the error let's see okay we didn't uh i invoked the trigger on this right so uh, what was that show message and this would be dependent on the state now if we click on this see you can observe a cool effect right how does this happen because i am transitioning from opacity i am transitioning from 1 to 0 and height from uh, the default height to the uh, not the default height the height uh, we have container took by itself to 0 pixel you might not believe me the wait i'll just uh... okay now watch see it automatically adjusted the height based on the text inside it right now if i click on it you can see a wonderful animation right uh, if you just remove the opacity and give height alone watch what happens it still happens but the box is present right since we gave that border box effect the box is present so to make it completely disappear i'm just you know giving the opacity here guys so yeah that's what i wanted to show you guys today uh, this is how you do i i have just touched upon very very basic stuff there are a lot of other cool stuff you could do with this as well i even saw a guy who i mean i saw an article that uh, in which uh, uh, which described how to create a, like a slide out drawer from one side using angular to animation there are a lot of cool stuff that can be done guys uh, anyway this is how you get started with animations this is the basic stuff i mean So yeah that's what i wanted to show you guys uh, if you found this video helpful kindly share it with someone else and help them too guys and uh, if you like the video kindly hit on uh, thumbs up below so kindly give it a like rating okay so yeah uh, that's it guys i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye